Hey what's up folks this is GK. So in this video I am going to tell you how I have passed Microsoft Azure AZ900 fundamentals exam by just preparing for 8 hours. So I am going to divide this video into 3 parts. The first part I am going to explain like why I had to prepare or why I had to take Azure exam and how I took it for free. And in the second part I am going to share with you all the experiences of exam like how many questions I got and what was my pass percentage and how was the whole online proctor exam experience. And in the third part, I am going to tell you what was my preparation mode, like how I have prepared for the exam and maybe it's going to help you out as well. So my preparation was done in 8 hours but maybe you can also do it in the same time. So at first place, why I had to take Azure exam? So it all started with a slick deals post where someone posted saying that if you take a free training, Azure online training, uh, which is uh, sponsored by Microsoft completely for free, you're going to get a free exam voucher. And that was the trigger point. I thought, you know, why not just take the exam since it is going to be free anyways. And also most of you guys have been asking me in the comments about Azure. I had no clue about Azure services or anything. So I thought it's an opportunity for me to take the training, write the exam and then share some of my experiences with you guys. So I have registered for the training. It was in the European time zone. So it was around 7.30 in the morning Eastern for me, uh, where I am currently located. It was about three hours or four hours, I think. I just attended the second part, but you have to still log into the training if you happen to see that ad again on Slick Deals. So I attend the training. Um, it's very easy and it's straightforward. You can also ask questions to the trainer directly uh, because it's a live training session. So after five days of completion of the training, you get a voucher. You're not gonna get any voucher as such. You just have to go to the Pearson online proctor exam or you know wherever you want to uh, take exam and then when you try to register if you're using the same email address that you have used to register for the training then you will see that you don't have to pay anything uh, otherwise it's $99 so after completion of my training I scheduled the exam immediately I that's what I would suggest you as well schedule the exam as soon as possible if you get a free voucher or even before that because this is just a fundamentals exam so it's better to schedule it much ahead uh, without even starting your preparation so after I have scheduled the exam I thought of um, like you know postponing the exam because I couldn't get time to prepare but fortunately what I did was I went through the amazing Azure uh, training material I'm going to talk about that but before that the exam experience so during the exam I got about 44 questions if I remember correctly and it was during the last weekend I scheduled it on Saturday so I got 760 so 700 was the past mark and it was so simple to write exam online uh, from Pearson Proctor it was very easy to take the exam all you have to do is you just have to have a laptop with webcam and they're gonna record the whole session but also you have to show what you were where you're sitting and if you have anything surroundings if you haven't taken online Proctor it's it, it was a pleasant experience the only thing was sometimes I was getting into the zoom fatigue because somebody was watching me uh, through the camera so that, that was an odd feeling but otherwise it was a good experience. So that's about the exam experience. Now how I have prepared for the exam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to my computer. I'm going to show you exactly what you should do step by step and then hopefully you'll also write this exam and it's going to take maybe to you as well 8 hours or 10 hours or 12 hours or whatever. Um, but do take this exam if you're interested in Azure because it's a good way to start and learn all the Azure services. So let's go and look into my uh, computer. All right, so after you have decided to take the exam, like I've said before, first thing what you should do is go to the Pearson view and then register for the exam. Because if you are not able to prepare, you can always reschedule the exam within five days. So after you do that, second and most important thing is look at the exam outline i could not find the practice questions like you know like google does or aws does i could not find azure free practice questions because that used to be my mode of preparation i always start with that i couldn't find that here but i i gone through skills measured part and the exam outline so once this is done the most important thing do not go to any other website for online training or any other video i guess because what i have done exactly is you see down here you have two options either you can select online free or instructor led paid and online free is the one that I have used and I have pretty much completed all of them 
to 100% like you know some maybe I could not complete 100% because I felt like you know it was not that important but I, I recommend you all do 100% at least uh, because what I felt is that the ones that I've missed and I got the questions in the exam and I struggled a bit that's why I got 760 because I could have got even more than uh, 760 and passed for 700 but anyway so this course is more than enough to pass fundamentals so it takes around 13 hours to complete all these learning paths and modules and I took around 8 hours because uh, most of the parts I skimmed through and especially if you are coming from AWS or GCP you can relate the services from uh, AWS or GCP and you will know that most of the services are pretty much similar but the names are different and one thing that I have learned after uh, going through this material and after taking the exam was Azure DevOps was just awesome you know the amount of effort that Microsoft has put in uh, to create Azure uh, DevOps tools uh, or services in the cloud is just phenomenal when compared to AWS or GCP uh, maybe that's the reason you'll also see a lot of Azure DevOps based jobs in the market so the second thing what I have done was again this is up to you if you want to follow this or not uh, I've took a lot of notes when I was going through this and that's my preparation I'll show you my diary I take just I keep writing the notes because if I do not write I cannot keep focusing for more time I'll just scribble through some of the important concepts or points that I wanted to remember before taking the exam so for instance if the exam is on Saturday which I recommend do it on Saturday or Sunday uh, that way it will be easier for you to prepare uh, or revise just before the exam so on that day I went through my notes and I have gone through some of the concepts that were important that I feel uh, you know I have to recollect because some of the things especially with data science tools and those things uh, I'm not much strong in that area so I had to go through the services names and stuff so that I did so I took all the notes uh, while preparing for this exam and then I have revised and then that's it I have given the exam uh, since it was free there was not much pressure on me uh, but even if it's not free if your company is able to reimburse I take this exam and it's a good way to start Azure so the other good thing about this exam is you will get the result as soon as you complete the exam unlike uh, GCP where it takes I think one week or something so you will get the results faster you'll see whether you passed or failed the score and and in these sections which one which one uh, has more percentage and those things and then you will get a certificate or you'll get a badge to your email in one and hour, one hour or one and a half hour from the Microsoft so that's all I wanted to share in this video uh, but I'll come up maybe with more videos on Azure which where whenever I find something interesting uh, but I'm not using this in my company currently so if I have to create anything just have to create for you guys let me know in the comment section if you want to learn anything from me on Azure and I'm happy to teach you all with that thank you so much for watching and do subscribe to my channel and hit like if you like this video thank you